Hi, Michael Mowbray from Molite. I'm thinking the reason why you uh, came to this video is that you tried to update your X3 transmitter and somehow bricked it. And that's okay. I did the very same thing the first time I tried to update mine. Um, I didn't follow the specific steps that uh, you need to follow to update it. And that's okay because we have a way of fixing it. So in the following video, I show you how to fix it if you've tried to do the update and it looks like you bricked it or it won't power back on or the firmware didn't take, all those things. Here's how you fix it. Here's how you update the firmware to make it work just like new again. So hopefully this helps. So I'm assuming you're coming to this video because you think you've bricked your X3 either from not following the exact process for updating the firmware or maybe you uploaded the wrong firmware. Whatever reason, you can't power on your X3 and you're stuck. So thankfully, hopefully, this is the process that you can follow and get your X3 back. So... Um, this is the one I've got here is actually one that's been updated and it's fine. I'm just going to actually turn it off, but we're going to try to brick it or at least run through the process that you need to go through to get this back to where you need it to be. So, uh, make sure, first of all, that you've got the G3 software, the latest version. So go to the Godox website and see if there's an updated version. If you already have one and make sure that you're using the very latest one. As of the recording of this, the latest one is version 1.1. So this is the version 1.1 of the G3 software. How do I know that? Well, I tried to do my first firmware update using the version 1.0, and I bricked my X3. So uh, one of the first things I realized is like, oh, there's a new version. Let's try the new version. I went through the whole process, and it worked. So make sure you've got the newest G3. And you're going to open it up, unzip it, open it up, all that kind of stuff, and get it running, and it's going to come up with the Chinese menu. You can just come down here to the lower left, do the drop down. Now you can see all of the English names on all the menu items. So um, go to Select File, select your firmware that's already been downloaded and unzipped, and make sure it's the right one. Uh, this is for the X3 Sony, which I have, so I open that up. Now I'm going to connect my USB-C cord to my X3. And let's just pretend that it will not turn on. If I turn this thing on, it'll work because I did it right. But if it's bricked for you, here's what you need to do. You've got the dial wheel and you've got the test fire button. You press and hold both and then release the test fire button you're going to get this screen, okay? And you're also going to see on your G3 software that the device is connected. If you go to update, you're going to see eventually the green bar coming across and you just wait for it to finish. Do, 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 do. And again, it's really important that you press and hold both buttons I was talking about and then release the test fire button first because that's what's going to reset this and get this into the proper menu to allow you to do the firm firmware update. Just wait for it to be done. Update device success. Next thing you do, unplug it. <laughs> then drop it. <laughs> it's impact test. There we go. <laughs> and then power it on. And you see the Godox start up, and we've got it. We've got all the different menus. You can go to settings. You can come down here to device info. You can see that it's got the latest firmware, firmware, firmware 1.14. So you're good to go. So hopefully that helps you solve it if you've bricked your X3.